Hey there, welcome back to Old World Home. My name is Hillary, and today I wanna to share with you a very special set of vintage dishes that I picked up recently at a flea market. I have talked about this flea market a few times on my channel recently, and it's like a hidden gem that my husband and I discovered you know, a couple months ago. So on our most recent trip there, I found an amazing vintage set of dishes. These are Royal Semi Porcelain Ridgeways, England is what it says on the back and it says Quebec. So I don't know much about it. I don't know if it was made in Quebec or if it was made in England and Quebec is just the, you know, style of it, the, you know, pattern. They had two milk crates of it. And it was all pretty dirty, but I could see that there were some beautiful pieces in there, some really special serving pieces, which I'm gonna show you. And I just, I couldn't pass it up. I passed by it, and then I came back, and then I asked how much he wanted for it, and then I left, and I thought about it, and then eventually I was like, I can't leave that behind. It was too good of a deal, so I went back, and I got them, and I'm gonna show you what is in the collection and how I plan to use them. are the main serving pieces. It just has the sweetest little like floral print, like so much detail. I love how it comes up onto the plate a little bit there. And then you have the gold on the edges. So we had dinner plates, bowls, larger soup bowls and small serving bowls. These are the saucers for the cups. And then there were also like dessert size or salad plates which I think maybe that is more of the same, and then teacups. And there were just a couple that were just too badly damaged that they wouldn't be usable. So I washed them all really well. I you know, rinsed off all the dirt, cleaned them really well. I don't believe this is something I could put in the dishwasher, so it's definitely something I've been washing by hand. We've used them a few times already. Now I know with vintage dishes, you do have to be careful about lead so that is something that i researched for peace of mind i did pick up one of these lead test swab kits just off of amazon so it's just a little swab that you put into some water it already has some kind of you know solution on it that's all dried up you put it in water and then you rub it on the plate it is originally you know this orange color and then if it turns like a a purpley pink color you can see here there's a little range on it so no lead detected and then all the way up to if it's that dark purpley pink then it detects lead so I did test it out on the dishes and they all looked safe the only one that detected lead was again if there was like a lot of cra um, crazing on the dish so you could actually see you know things kind of cracking and peeking through. But like I said, those that were a little more damaged, I have set aside. They're not in this collection. We have used some of them already, like these smaller dishes, but we also plan to do a little tea party at home. We like to do these from time to time. And I have just a very simple set, but after finding this, I think I'll go ahead and donate the few pieces I have to make room for this, which is another thing I need to do is find out where I'm gonna store all this because I don't want to just pack it away and put it in the basement. I wanna be able to get to it. So we have this china cabinet here, not even a china cabinet, it's just a little decorative, you know, uh, cabinet. And in here, there are some more pieces. So there was this gorgeous pitcher, little cream pitcher in with the set. Unfortunately, this one, you can see there's a handle here and it broke off on that side. Now it did come with that broken piece and it was an incredibly clean break. So I could put that back on and I plan to. And since like, you know, you're not gonna be eating off of that part, you know, in theory, I could still use that. And then I love the gravy bowl, again, in like perfect condition. There is no crazing in that. It has a beautiful platter 
you know, to go underneath it, a little saucer. And then this serving, you know, platter with a little handle. The dish is absolutely gorgeous. And again, super clean. Now the lid, unfortunately, has seen better days. It has quite a bit of cracking here. So, you know, I, I do have to be very careful with the lid, but just to look how stunning it is. So incredibly gorgeous. So I just find it so beautiful to have on display, but I could still use the bottom to serve out of. And then lastly is this bowl. Again, perfect shape, but I will need to find a home for all the rest of it. And then we're gonna go ahead and set it all up and have a tea party. So I'm gonna go ahead and test one of these teacups, show you how to do it. So you just get that wet. Oh, I think that was the one that was cracked. All right, I'll use this one. I wouldn't use that other one. So we're gonna see. I'm gonna rub it all around. All right, so there it is after I rubbed it in. I rubbed it all over the inside of the teacup and it's still that pretty much the same orange color. So let me test one on one that's a little more crazed or cracked and we'll see. So I'll take this teacup. You can see inside. I don't know, it's, it's kind of hard to see, but you see it's a little discolored there. So I'm gonna, I have no idea if this is gonna change it, but I'm gonna rub it all over the crazed section and these little cracks and we're gonna see what happens. All right, well, that actually didn't really change it either. So that's, I guess, a good thing. All right, so this is a dish that obviously is broken and I'm gonna have to get rid of it. And it has a lot of crazing inside. And the camera doesn't really wanna pick it up, but I'm gonna test this one too, just to see what would happen. All right, so there you can see that the swab has definitely turned purple. It detected lead, so I wouldn't use this cracked one, which obviously I wouldn't use anyways, but I still feel comfortable using the rest of them. They didn't turn the swab, you know, they didn't detect any lead, so I think we're good to go. I just wanted to also share that I made room for these pieces in the top of this glass fronted cabinet in our kitchen. I had a couple of other tea set pieces that we would use from time to time. And I do have more of this set down in our basement, but I, you know, it's lovely. It's very pretty, but I don't have room for both. And I just really love the blue and white. And I just, would prioritize the space for this. And there is plenty of room. I set our table for the tea party tomorrow, so I do have room still to fit in the rest of the pieces that are currently out. So I'm gonna put this back with the other set that we have, or the rest of the pieces, and hopefully that will go to a good home. So like I said, this is the night before. I decided to go ahead and set the table because tomorrow is Sunday. And it's, you know, a little hectic after church to get brunch on the table. So I went ahead and set it. We're going to have some soup and some fruit and, of course, our tea. I made some scones, which are in the refrigerator right now, and I will bake them tomorrow. And this runner is from the online shop that I love, Jenny Steffens Hobic, and I can link to it down below. She does only offer things at certain season so i don't think that this will be available because this is pretty old at this point but it is still beautiful and she does have some other lovely options as well and then i did have to put just one more set in here these smaller i guess they're like dessert plates i was able to just stack underneath the bowl so we are ready to have a lovely time together well, thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed seeing this new China collection that I have added to. I am just so thrilled to have it in our home, to use it, to give it new life, and to really cherish such a beautiful piece of history, truly. So thank you so much for watching. If you are new to my channel, be sure to stick around and subscribe, and I'll be talking to you soon. Take care, guys.